so. Okay. Are we ready? Okay. Yeah. Hey guys, it's Melinda Chan here, and today I'm going to be showing my deck profile of my Elemental Hero deck. Uh, it's my favorite deck that I've done so far. We've been working on it on and off since we started. We got back into the game about four years ago, mm -hmm. so it's pretty pimped out. It's really blinging and it's really awesome. And we finally, with the new hero that just came out, the Escurido, it's uh, now really awesome for super polys. So I'll just yeah. Kind of <laughs> Note that this deck list may change within the next few weeks, yeah. pending on the ban list. Yeah, because the ban list it might change. I might start running some masked heroes and some other stuff instead. So. Yeah. Well, let's take a look at this deck. <laughs> okay, so it's essential to have Stratos. He better not get banned. But <laughs> the most we don't think he's gonna get hit, <laughs> but we'll find out. I would cry if he does. Yeah. So um, I have three Prismas. He's kind of necessary. Yeah. Makes uh, quick graveyard plays. Neos Alias is one. Um, I have Avion, Bersinatrix, and Sparkman, and Clayman, even though they're not really, like, the best effects for E-Heroes, because they don't have any effects. Um, they're still really fun because, you know, they're Jaden's spamming cards, yeah. and they're, I, l I love the artwork on these alternate versions of these three. Whenever so, Rabbit becomes affordable, I actually want to make a rescue hero deck. That'd be fun. <laughs> But yeah, so I just run those guys. There's, you know, people like to switch them out for other things, but it's good to also have that balance of I can have essentially just do all the elements with the different elemental heroes uh, fusions. So uh, just one wood spoon and a bubble man, ice edge and ocean. Might Favoritism swap on the one of those two for a second bubble man yeah. at some point. But I have a favoritism for the water because of absolute zero. Yeah. Um, I have just, uh, Grammel, he's fun, just uh, to troll. Still a Jaden card. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then uh, three King of the Swamps, it's uh, mostly used to get the polymerization. Though. Also great miracle fusion material for your absolute zero. Mm -hmm. And then a Sangin. Sangin. He, search, he searches, searches out King of the Swamps. Almost everything in the deck, actually. So um, there's a, one of the more credible ban lists, I think, has him. Did they ban him or did they just... They not uh, some people speculate he might get banned, but we'll see. Yeah, if he does, it doesn't hurt the deck too much. It's yeah, just a, another way to get really. King of the Swamp and therefore Polly's. And let's see, that's the monsters. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Okay, magics or spells, yeah. Uh, I have three Polly's. Obvious. Necessary. Yeah. Uh, three E calls. Uh, one of the ban lists that's. Uh, that predicts uh, that it or it's, goes to two. It says it goes to two. Um, it doesn't hurt it too much, though it's necessary to have as many as you can. Right. Uh, three miracle fusions. Uh, I only run two super polys because uh, I've had times where it was just kind of a dead draw. Though I might start running three because I have the uh, new dark key hero that came out. Um, yeah, so, so it's really helpful. It is Can't very helpful. Can't be stopped either. Super poly is obnoxious for yeah. anybody playing against it. Um, one parallel world fusion, a future fusion. If future fusion gets hit, probably super poly go in his place. Yeah. Um, reinforcement of the army is another search thing like E calls. Yeah. Uh, I have two MSTs. Heavy storm. Um, if heavy storm gets banned, I'll probably put in another third MST. I don't think it's getting hit. Uh, reborn. Reborn. Guns, traps. I guess I can fit that on there. Uh, for traps, I got Paradox Fusion. Uh, yeah. He he's really good with especially Absolute Zero because yeah. you could use it to send Absolute Zero out and you get him back. And then because Absolute Zero is out, it uses his effect to wipe out your opponent's monsters. Right. So it's fun. Uh, solemn Judgment, Solemn Morning, Mirror Force, Torrential Tribute, Call of the Haunted, and Scrapper and Scarecrow just to in case I don't have anything and I need to stall for a bit. And it also makes people mad. Currently, the only cards in her deck that are not hollowed out to perfection is um, one Miracle Fusion and one E Call. Yeah, which I have a silver letter of Miracle Fusion here, but these two are hollowed and this one is not. Yeah. But if this one does get semi limited, then I have the two I need, so I'm not really too worried about that right now unless <laughs> until the ban list comes out. And before we finish up, gotta show the extra deck. That's the yeah. heart and soul of any hero deck. Okay, so uh, let's see, it's backwards. I have three absolute zeros. He's the favorite. Yeah, staple practically. Uh, two shinings. 
They're pretty easy to get out, especially with Prisma. Yeah. Uh, Gaia got two of those. Two uh, security dolls. Yeah, this guy's gonna be fun now. Yeah. He Dark just came Wolf out. Beware. Um, Tornado. I actually have two of them. Uh, one Nova Master, and then I have some Vision Heroes. I have one Adoration and then two Trinities. Um, I went ahead and put in a second Trinity because he's a pretty beast and scary. <laughs> um, I usually can only get him though out with Future Fusion or if I just happen to have three E Heroes in my hand with Polly because he's not an Elemental Hero so I can't use Miracle Fusion. We learned that so. Yeah. But he's pretty beast. I'd say again, pending on the ban list, might um, take a couple of these guys out for some rank fours or other options. Yeah, I've considered possibly doing maybe some. Yeah. Rank fours, rank for threes, probably rank fours though. Yeah. All right, guys. So my year. Thanks for watching. Uh, I have a couple auctions going on for some wigs. Uh, the link is below. They end like very soon, so now's your chance to get them if you were interested. Uh, and subscribe and. Thanks. Thumbs up. <laughs>